today in this video let's talk about the design of the load center specifically for the lv lv level 415 volt level load center based on the load requirement we need to design uh, where that load center will be located that means where that pcc or the pmcc whatever you may call that pcc or pmcc will be located or uh, is there any requirement uh, for additional switchboard or uh, mcc that means uh, only the motor control center so based on what we design as a power system engineer uh, when we design the uh, power system network what will be the consideration and uh, what will be the concept to to design that uh, depending on the load center let's talk about that so we will start now suppose this is 415 volt 415 volt pmcc or pcc that means power com motor control center and this this switchboard is getting the power supply from upstream one distribution transformer to mb transformer to mb transformer so this is one bus and this is bus 2 or bus b so another transformer is connected so two incomers are there for this entire switchboard there are some there are some loads which are directly connected with this bus a and bus b as well and also there may be some cases that the line feeders are going to another location this mcc this mcc may be located at a different building or different location this distance may be 150 meter here it is considered by cable connection 150 meter this distance may be 500 meter or maybe one kilometer or maybe more than that so the physical location between this pmcc and this mcc that may be far away from each other so what will be considered whenever we are designing that number of pmcc boards or the location location of this transformer where the transformers will be located whether there is a requirement there is the, this is the load center what is load center load center means where the utility requirement is much more maybe you know that more than 60 percent 70 percent of the total power which is being delivered from here suppose this is 2 mba transformer this is 2 mba transformer so almost 60 70 percent of power supply those are utilized here in this location from this uh, switchboard directly suppose the this is the this may be the process or mechanical requirement that's that the number of motors 90 kilowatt 75 kilowatt or uh, 132 kilowatt so all these big size lv motors those are connected here only so based on the process requirement from our electrical uh, side we need to provide the power supply so definitely there is the requirement to install a uh, PMCC uh, in this area along with these two distribution transformers and here this is the far away MCC location there may be multiple MCC or switchboard which are located far away or maybe at the field location and uh, in a you know uh, that uh, that is that is the that is at different location but there the load requirement is very small as compared to this pmcc this area you can you can consider you can consider this is the main process area where the major major electrical load demand is located along with the number of number of uh, higher rated motors are connected here there are some lamp loads there, there may be some HBAC loads uh, inside the building HBAC uh, loads uh, will come there may be some compressors motors so lot of lot of loads will come in the main process area and here may be only few MOBs that that means the motor operated valve or uh, 
those small size motor operated valve that uh, rating typically you can say that uh, 0.55 kilowatt or 0.75 kilowatt or maybe 1.5 kilowatt very small size uh, motors because those are motor operated valves those are being fed from this mcc this may be located at uh, at a different uh, building or this may be located in the field itself so there the requirement is very less so in that case it is economical in that case it is economical to design the power system like this that means not only the technical not only the not only the technical uh, you know that design perspective you need to you need to consider also the commercial uh, commercial aspect so this is quite economical if the load center is located uh, here only but let's say the load requirement in this area in mcc is higher than than this area then i mean the loads being fed from this mcc is much higher or or equal to this pmcc area so in that case it is not economical in that case it is not economical to install the transformer here and to feed the power supply from here from this pmcc to mcc so in that case i should install this transformer near to the near to this mcc board and not here in the pmcc so we need to install this transformer here so in that case what will happen the incoming cable here the cable is not shown but the incomer cable from this 6.6 .6 kb switchboard up to this transformer this may be increased this may be increased let's say 500 meter that may happen but but here the transformer you know the from the transformer secondary side basically this is the bus duct connection basically this transformer secondary side is bus duct connection so this cost will be minimized and also from technical point of view uh, this will be the load center so in that case it will be economical to design these two transformers should be installed near to this mcc not here so we need to check from the from the process requirement or the mechanical requirement where the load center is located so okay that is one point another point another point i have already covered in a separate video that whether we can connect this 75 kilowatt or this 90 kilowatt higher rated lv motors to this mcc or or can we connect here sub, uh, suppose uh, here small size small size MC, uh, you know that uh, small size motors uh, mov mobs are there here very small size mobs are there let's say this is very uh, this is 0.55 kilowatt this is only 0.55 kilowatt so is it practical to connect this 0.55 kilowatt motor to this pmcc or it will be connected in this mcc only so that is that is covered in a separate video you can check out that video there are to answer this question just to brief what just to brief this the cable connecting this motor with this uh, mcc or this pmcc if it is if it is connected if it is connected with this pmcc then the cable size whatever cable size we will select that will be much more that will be much more higher rated why because you know the cable sizing calculation i have already uh, posted several videos with the help of manual calculation with the help of etap software so i have i have explained in detail that for the cable sizing calculation we need to check three three major things one is that continuous current rating continuous current rating of this motor which is which is very very less this is only 1.26 ampere that's fine so based on this based on this we can preliminary select the cable which is which is giving power supply to this to this motor particular motor this is very small size motor so this is number one is the continuous current rating number two is the voltage drop so this voltage drop 
voltage drop will not be an issue uh, because this is very small size motor so number two criteria is the voltage drop and number three which is the most important criteria that is the short circuit that is the short circuit uh, rating so if you check the short circuit rating of the cable then then you need to select uh, you know that uh, higher cross-sectional uh, cable let's say this is this is 1.26 ampere we can we can uh, we can use that 3 core uh, 3 core 10 square mm cable 3 core 10 square mm uh, copper cable we can use but if you see the but if you see the short circuit short circuit current rating of this 3 core uh, 10 square mm cable it will not be able to withstand the short circuit the short circuit uh, current for this pmcc for this switch gear for this main switch gear so you can use but but technically you can use but the cable size will be much more higher so the cost the cost will be higher definitely so the commercial uh, commercially if you think that is not that is not practical that is not practical and also the terminal box the motor terminal box if you use this higher rated higher higher size higher cross-sectional area uh, cable then the termination cable termination with this uh, motor terminal box that that may be that may be a challenge because this is the standard motor manufacturers what they will manufacture what they will manufacture they will manufacture the standard uh, motor terminal box and the itself that motor size along with this um, terminal box is very small but if you want to connect this higher size higher cross-sectional area cable with that terminal box that may not be possible so that may be a challenge there may be a challenge so in that case uh, maybe alternate solution you need to uh, connect uh, with an uh, adapter box cable adapter box and uh, space requirement so that's that that is not a good engineering practice so that's why you uh, you should not connect this smaller size rating motor with this uh, pmcc directly so that should be kept in mind also that's why generally if you see any power system network only the higher rated higher rated uh, low voltage motors 90 kilowatt or 75 uh, basically 75 kilowatt and above maybe 132 kilowatt maybe 160 kilowatt maybe in some of the cases 200 or 220 kilowatt also we can use the up to this 415 volt level those are connected directly with this uh, lb pmcc board but very smaller size motors here uh, particularly that uh, mov or very small size motors those are connected with separate mcc or db switchboard db where that short circuit rating will be short circuit rating will be lower than this main switchboard okay so one more thing i want to highlight here if you see the power requirement already i have uh, i have touched this point previously just to remind once again if the power requirement here here the power requirement is much uh, much higher or equal to this pmc area then we need to we need to consider this area as the load center so in that case we need to install these distribution transformers near to this uh, switchboard and not here okay that is also covered and uh, this is the this is the uh, topic today so i think uh, there is some value addition if you uh, want to contribute anything that means uh, if you you know um, if you uh, put your comment in the comment box uh, for any suggestion or if you have any doubt you can you can put your comments in the comment box so that i can get back to you thanks for watching the video